So we're not going to win there, really, are we? So I think the let's delete that square. What we need to do is get a better shape here. So what I'm going to do is I think untrim. So that's uh, Shift R, and then I'm going to detach the curl on surface there and there. So for that, I need to zoom in. Hit space bar. Hit space bar and delete the curves on surface. And now we're in a position to take a degree three curve, attach it to there, and we'll attach it somewhere around here. And we'll do something similar on the other side. Okay, put that where it gives us a nice line. I like that, you know, nice smooth flow through there and something similar that side. So you see what I'm looking for? I'm looking for a nice flow through there, which is likely to, to work for us. So now I'm going to project normal. We don't need curves anymore, so we can just assign them to a layer out of the way. That's fine. And Shift T. Just by our degree 5 NURBS curve across there. Okay, and we can build our square now. And that's better, isn't it? Put the controls on. Yeah, beautiful. Okay, I'm going to put construction planes across here for my blend curves. I'll do that and I'll come back to you. I've put these two curves in now and put the comb on. And I'm comparing them with that curve. And you can see they all look very similar, don't they? So that's important. And now I'm going to build these surfaces in through here. I'm going to use rail surfaces for that. Let's build the first rail surface. So we're going to use uh, position, position, curvature and position. And then down here we want collinear options here and here. So Controls on, and you see we have a beautiful. I only need degree three in this direction, and this is curvature here, and it's washing out there. Perhaps we can see that. Push a G to hide the locators, and let's put the. And there you see it's washing out beautifully there. Okay, we can see that the surface uh, is a long way away from the blend curve so you yeah, know probably I had my blend curves too too straight let's put a curvature comb on this surface and read it and you see it's a nice profile isn't it so my blend curves are a bit suspect there so let's go back to the blend curves and let's modify them okay let's have a look along there then and you can see that we need to bring this round a lot more and the same The same with this curve. We need to look at what's going on here. So it's a question of moving this and also moving the CV. So look at this and that, and they're looking similar now, aren't they? So let's do this curve as well. Something like that should be a lot better. Okay, let's build our next rail surface. Pick the surface and the curve there. Fine, isn't it? 
controls on and we're going to ask for tangency here and you see if we ask for that it throws us out there so I think we'll stick with position for the moment I'm going to have to do some direct modeling in a minute and we've got maximum degree 7 there we can't do anything else there but we could go to degree 5 here and I think we will do that we need degree 5 here so we can build the rest of these surfaces in this surface set let's build this one build to the rail surface looking nice at this point you're looking to see if the hulls are running along nicely in line if they're not you have to modify the uh, points on the on the curve Okay, we have a small gap here it's a little bit of work to do to go along and finish off these boundaries here connect them and achieve tangency there by direct modeling turn off the model a second Pick nothing hide the construction planes and there it is very nice I'm going to use the tubular offset there so come along here to surfaces tubular offset we'll go for radius of six to start with see how we get on with that we want this time single surfaces take chain select off single surface that's fine so delete the tube shift T and hit keep I just need to see why these are not trimming and usually it's because the curve and surface is a bit short so what we do there is take extend merge on and just extend them and then we'll test them in a moment okay so it's shift T for trim let's fix that problem now we need to build a fillet along here and I think for that we use freeform blend with G2 G2 and degree 7 flow control leave it at default for the moment now to build this fillet here if you're going to do class A then you've got to build blend curves and build squares but if you're doing a concept model you can use the freeform blend control and as this is rather long tutorial that's what I'm going to do so I'm going to use it with uh, chain select off and here we go any small curvature conditions like that you can resolve with the align tool or even direct modeling Okay, I'm going to just query edit that one and I'm going to go for underflow control end edge align and you see that's given me a much better result there to finish the job off what I'll do and I'm not going to do it in the video you can do it on your own I will uh, align that with the align tool and this one I'll delete it and I'll build a square in here I built a square in there and aligned that and now you can see that we have a really nice feature that we've created there with a complex blend bringing our blend down through here broadening it out washing it out completely there. there's no trace of it look whatsoever and this wonderful boomerang feature here in the light catcher so I hope that you've enjoyed this video it's been rather long I apologize for that but it's a lot to cover and hope that you can incorporate it in your own personal workflow.